Welcome to Tips and Tricks on SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. In this video, I'm going to look at System Rollback with Snapper. System Rollback relies on snapshotting capabilities of BTRFS and Snapper, which allows system administrators to undo any changes applied to the operating system. Let's look at what BTRFS and Snapper is. BTRFS is a file system that supports subvolumes and snapshotting. It is the default operating system or root partition for SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 12 and 15. BTRFS has a built-in volume management capability with built-in copy-on-write feature. Now let's look at Snapper. Snapper allows you to manage snapshots. It also allows you to compare two snapshots and provide you means to revert the differences between the two snapshots. Snapper comes with a command line and YAST interface. By default, Snapper and BTRFS on SLES are set up to serve as an undo tool for system changes. Next, I'm going to perform a demonstration. And during this demonstration, I'm going to apply a patch, review the changes after the patch, activate the system into a pre-patch state, roll back the system, and finally review the system state. The system I'm going to uh, use for this demonstration is a SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 12 Service Pack 5. For the first task of applying a patch, I'm going to use zipper command to find any glibc related patches which are classified as important security patches. So I ran the command, I can see there is one security patch related to glibc. The command that I ran is zipper lp or list patches uh, with category security and severity as important. Next, I'm going to look at the information uh, with related to this security patch. This is the command I ran to list the information with regard to the patch that we are going to apply to the system. So it says the status as needed. So I'm going to apply and install the patch into the system. Now I'm installing the patch into the system. Once it's been applied, I'm going to reboot the system. Let's reboot the system. Let me pause the video and once the system is back, I will continue the video. So now I have restarted or rebooted the system. Let me run the snapper list command. This will show um, the pre and post updates uh, with regard to the, the patch that we applied recently. So there is a pre state as 19 and post state as 20. Let's find out the, the files that's been changed after this patch. So we can run snapper status command along with 19 and 20. This will list down all the files that's been affected after the patch update. Let me reboot the system now and, and activate the pre-patch state. I have interrupted the uh, system booting from normal booting procedure just to uh, show you what's going to happen. So I let me click uh, the last option, start bootloader from a read-only snapshot. In here, it will list down all the snapshots that's been available. From the arrow case, you can you need to select the, the correct uh, pre-patch state. Uh, in my scenario, it was 19, so I'm going to select 19. Uh, this, so you can see the system will be put in, into snapshot number 19. This will not put to the graphical interface, so I will log in into the system using a, a, a party or, or using SSH. Now I have SSH into the system. Let me do a snapper list command. 
this will list down all the snapshots. Now we are at the uh, snapshot 19. This is the active snapshot that we are currently locked in. So I'm going to do the system rollback using snapper rollback command along with number 19. This will create two uh, snapshots, two additional snapshots. So if I run snapper list command, I will see the system, two new snapshots that's been created, uh, pre and post. Now I'm going to reboot. Now I'm going to reboot the system um, uh, normally, and it should roll back to the the pre-patched uh, state. Let me reboot the system. Let me pause this uh, video and and reconnect once the system is back online. Now I have rebooted the system and I ran the the zipper command that we listed the patch for jlibc with category security and security as important. I can see the, the security patch available as and needed for the system. If I run zipper info command with this, for this patch and I should see the status as needed. So we have successfully rolled back the system uh, to the pre-patch state. Let me clear the screen. If I just run the snapper command, snapper list, you should see the, the two uh, snapshots that's been created before the rollback. That's all for now. We'll, I will do another video on a different topic again. Thank you all.